horror. Now they have your attention. What's inside the new horror pack, the monthly movie subscription service? Fancy yourself somebody that likes 411 presented in front of them? Well, technically, at the beginning of this intro, I provided three bits of information. The first one being horror, the second one being monthly, the third one being movies, as that is what Horror Pack delivers to your doorstep every single month, horror movies. If you are somebody that likes to have DVDs delivered to your doorstep, you can do that. You can subscribe to the Horror Pack and get horror DVDs. If you have upgraded your library, however, and now enjoying watching your movies in Blu-ray, well, you can have them delivered to your doorstep in Blu-ray as well. You can choose either one for yourself. If you're interested in getting on board the horror train, you can click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to Horror Pack's website. And then from there, you can pick the format that's best for you. We're going to go ahead and get up, get opened this body bag of Blu-ray titles, check out the contents inside. And I hope along the way, we're going to have a little bit of fun while we're doing that. Of course, in order to get access to this, I'm going to need myself a knife. It's almost like I've got everything all prepared here. Using a knife that's color corded to the body bag, we're going to slice the turkey to the side and pull out the gizzards. I really should get into marketing. Let's go ahead and slice the bag and see what we got going on in here. I'm going to open it from both sides. Well, let me make sure, of course, the corners are open enough. You can probably already see there's one of them, but I'm going to pull the first title. We're going to look at it. I'm going to do my best to find usually the running times and movie release dates, which is always usually difficult. And then if you've seen any one of these movies, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of it. The first one being 47 Meters Down, starring Claire Holt and Mandy Moore. No help, no hope, no escape. Bound to leave you clinging to the shoreline, says Ariel Scotty of the New York Daily News. I have not seen this one, although it was very interesting. It seemed interesting, at least from the trailer. When the, the, ca the, cable, when the cable of the shark observation cage breaks, sisters Lisa, played by Mandy Moore, and Kate, played by Claire Holt, sink to the bottom of the ocean. As they battle injuries and a lack of oxygen, they must find their way to the surface, but, only, but their only path to safety is a swarming with a massive great white sharks. Yeah, that would be problematic. You know, I was trying to think of what would be the scariest thing I could do just before I die. It probably would be sitting inside of a cage, submerged underwater, and having a big, giant, great white shark coming my way. In fact, that probably would be my, my last few moments on Earth. The running time on this, let's see if I can actually find it. Oh, that's digestible. It's 89 minutes. And the release date on this is always harder to find. Oh, 2017. It's right there. Anybody see this movie? If so, let me know down below in the comment section. Pulling out the next one. Now, this was the one that had the slip cover. Let's see what it is here. We have The Ascent from the executive producer, producers of the Texas Chainsaw and Day of the Dead. There is actually a term given to this, and it's drawn a blank to me right now, where people don't like things that have holes in them. This was a big issue when it comes to, I think it was the iPhone, a recent released phone, had multiple cameras on the back. And people really didn't like the fact that there were holes in it. There's, again, a term given to that. I'm sure somebody quickly looking this up on the internet would probably find it faster than me just trying to think of it right now. But that's a little on the unsettling side, this face with holes all in it. You can see there's a hand sticking out. It says, it feeds on the darkness within. Now, well, I'm rather interested in this now. On the back... It says, delivers an interesting twist on the horror genre. After a series of disturbing supernatural events in his home, Joel, played by Robert Kaczynski, a single father comes to suspect that his young son, young son, may be possessed. Yeah, that's, that would be a real bummer, wouldn't it be? I don't know what this child is doing up the top here. Is he laying next to a mound of human faces? Maybe it's possible. I believe this was actually done in Canada. Yeah, that's usually the little sign down down there of Quebec um, for the running time. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. Anybody see it? If you see it, you know what? Let's pull the sleeve out. Maybe the inside will tell us instead. I'm looking around. 87 minutes and 2019. So it's pretty new, actually. Was it even on here? No, it wasn't on the slip sleeve slip cover. Seems interesting. Again, I don't know. The 
front of the cover, maybe I am somebody that falls into this fear and phobia of things with holes all in it. I don't know. That's kind of a little on the unsettling side. Have you seen it? Let me know down below in the comment section. Pulling out title number three. We have ourselves Ashburn Waters. What is killing the campers at Ashburn Waters? A horror pack limited edition Blu-ray. Looking on the back here. Release date for this was 2019 and 81 minutes. We're going to get that out of the way right away. It says, when Brett agreed to join his friends on a high school reunion camping trip, he thought the height of his worries would be dealing with his ex-girlfriend and her new flame. But little did he know that the campground Ashburn Waters has been closed due to unexplained murders, and now his friends are falling victim to the camp campground's curse one by one. Interesting. The only thing that would throw me off of wanting to see this, and this is something that I would like to ask and maybe share around with you, the viewing audience. How do you feel when it comes to the way a movie is filmed? Generally, though, no matter how bad the movie may be, if I'm watching it in the 80s where it's filmed a certain way, it doesn't bother me at all. A movie that's filmed nowadays, though, that's been filmed perhaps with a digital recorder, has too clean of a picture quality to it. And it could be a really astonishing movie. And yet somehow the picture quality of it turns me almost right off. Anybody else has had that experience? Let me know down below in the comments section. We got one more title to pull out here. Let's see what we got here. The last one is A Night in the Woods, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack from the makers of Bronson and Monsters. It will cast the evil beasts out of the land and into the woods. It says Ezekiel 32:35. A fresh, terrifying new fear lurks in the woods. Seems interesting. Is this found footage? Found footage is always a tough thing for me to watch. Its running time is 82 minutes. Um, I think that may be 2017 down below. I'm trying to see here. I don't see it. When three friends go hiking, jealousies, sexual tensions, and strained relationships come to a head, turning what should have been a peaceful camping adventure into, into a terror trip. As collective paranoia reaches fever pitch, it becomes clear that there's much darker force at work in their ancient er uh, eerie surroundings. Who or what is after them? And what can be, and can one of them, there you go, survive a night in the woods? Kind of reminds me a little bit like Blair Witch. Have you seen it? Let me know down below in the comments section. Quickly skimming back through the selection of titles we got in this month's offering of Horror Pack, we did get ourselves the Night in the Woods, a Night in the Woods. What is Killing the Campers at Ashburn Waters? That may be interesting. The Ascent, oof, what's the term given for that? Things with holes all in them. And we also have 47 meters down, a movie I've never seen, but I really like shark movies, so I'm going to give that a go. Have you seen any of these titles? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you would like to get on the horror train, the horror pack train, you can click the link down below in the video description. And from there, you can decide for yourself, first of all, when to start the subscription. You may want to start it next month. This may also be a gift for somebody. You can maybe postpone it until whenever their eventual birthdays are. Uh, or you can subscribe for yourself and then from there, choose which format is best for you. If you are still collecting DVDs, they do that. If you are collecting now Blu-rays, they do that. If you like horror movies, they do that. Also, do some stuff for yourself. I mean, certainly if you're a big fan of this channel, give yourself the reward. You've had a hard day at working outside, tending to the fields. Are you a farmer? Well, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. You can also turn on the bell notification. And you can also keep your peepers peeled to this channel because there's definitely a lot more videos coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.